This is the continuation of a solution of a multiple unit mass balance problem. The problem we are considering is this example from Feld and Rousseau of a two-stage extraction process. And in part one, we did the overall balance, and we found the composition of the stream going to the distillation column. Now it's time to go inside that loop and to try to figure out what balances to do next. So here's a fresh version of our problem. We know the raffinate stream. We always knew the two solvent streams, the fresh feed. We also know the distillation column stream. It, we can do balances on so many different things. We could do it on the settler, on the mixer, on combinations of mixer, settler, um, and we could do it on this mixing point here. Or we could combine all kinds of choices. Now, sometimes these what seem like rather crazy choices are going to be exactly the right choice to make. Um, the trick in getting better at these kind of calculations is to sort out which would be the easiest balance to do first. We're looking for a way to do balances with the least complicated calculations. So let's bring up another fresh version of this problem and try to figure out where we know things about the problem to decide what to balance on. So as I said, we know we have all these outside streams. What else do we know? In the extract one stream, we know the composition of acetone but we don't know the composition of water or MIBK. In the extract two, we know two out of three, so we can figure out the third one. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12, must be 88% MIBK. So that's good. We know the complete composition of this phase. 3.0% water, 9.0% acetone, and 88% MIBK. The raffinate phase we already know everything about. The distillation phase we solved for before. So it looks really like we know a lot in this quadrant of the problem, and it leads me to think that I should check out the kind of balances that I might be able to perform around this mixing point. So the balances on this mixing point would involve the flow rate in, flow rate out. We know this stream completely. Um, and we have two unknowns, the flow rates of these two streams, plus the composition of this stream. And we should be able to write a, a, a several simple balances in order to calculate the flow rates of those two streams. Now, before I dive into that, um, I might just look around at some other balances I might do. I, I know a lot about this stream. Maybe I could do a balance that is across this second stage of the extraction unit. And here I know one, two, uh, we know two of the streams. We don't know the flow rate of the raffinate or the extract, and we don't know the composition of the extract. That might be um, not such a good choice because it's a little bit complicated. If we drew that dotted line a little wider to grasp this phase where we know a little bit, we still can't avoid this raffinate phase. And so I think I'm going to settle in on doing just this mixing point as my next balance. All right, so now as is uh, my procedure, I'm going to redraw it as a mixing point. And I'm going to give myself lots of space. Oops, I already did the wrong direction there. And I'm going to um, label these up. This is extract one. This is extract two. Extract two, we don't know the flow rates of either stream. So I think I've used Q1 through Q4, so I'll call this Q5 kilograms total. I'll call this Q6 kilograms total. And I'm going to copy down this, the results from the first part to sort out what the stream, the total distillation column stream. These are the results from the part one video 
this is the total composition of that stream, so I can just copy that onto my new flow sheet. There is 231.9 kilograms total, uh, 9.8739 kilograms of water, 47.7157 kilograms of acetone, and 174.3104 kilograms of MIBK. Now going back to my problem here, I know the composition of acetone in these two streams, so I'm going to be able to do an acetone balance, and I can do an overall mass balance. So let me copy down the acetone numbers. This is 27.5% acetone, and this one is 9.0% acetone. So that means that there is 0.275 times Q5 kilograms of acetone in this stream, and 0.09 times Q6 kilograms of acetone in that stream. All right, I'm ready to do the balances. I'm going to do two balances, the overall mass balance, and then a balance on acetone. So on the mixing point, the overall mass balance. Uh, Q5 comes in, Q6 comes in, and 231.9 come out. Now that's not uh, a pro uh, an equation I can solve, but I can write another equation using the acetone balance. The acetone balance is 0.275Q5 plus 0.09Q6 is equal to 47.7157. Alright, so that's two equations, two unknowns. And so I'll solve it. So I have, I'll solve this one, I have Q6 equals 231.9 minus Q5, and I'll put that in here. So I have 0 0.275 Q5 plus 0 0.09 times 231.9 minus Q5 equals 47.7157 and let's get the calculator out and this is 0 0.27525 plus 0 0.09 31.9 20.8710 minus 0 0.0925 equals 47.7157, 47 20.87, subtracted from it is 26.8447, and 0 0.275, 0 0.09, 0 0.185Q5, on the left, Q5 equals 145.1065. I'll just double check that last calculation. Right. And therefore, Q6 must be, I can subtract. Um, that from 231.9 and I get 86.7935. So that allows me to um, fill in this sheet, this 
flow diagram. Q5 is 145.1065 and Q6 is 86.7935. So now we can return to our flow diagram and we've calculated the flow rates of these two extract streams. We know all the outside streams and we know a little bit about, um, about the compositions of the extract streams. So we're in a good position now to uh, stay in this quadrant of the flow sheet to try to solve a few more balances. And since we know a lot about the, these outlet streams and a little bit less about what's going on to the left, I'm going to do the next balance um, as one on this stage two of the extraction system. There's no need really for me to do balances across this stream because I was only asked to do the named streams, uh, which doesn't include that one. It's kind of an internal stream to the extractor section. Um, but if I wanted, if I did need it, I could uh, dive in there at some point if I like. So I'm going to do this balance to try to figure out what the flow rate of the raffinate one stream is, um, so that I can um, move forward in solving all the problems in this in this uh, example. All right, so let's draw it. I'm going to call that uh, stage two, and then I'm going to draw what goes in. And so what goes into stage two is raffinate one, fresh solvent, and what comes out is raffinate two and extract two. So this is raffinate one, and this is the fresh solvent stream that is 75 kilograms of MIBK, and this is the raffinate two. And somewhere in my pile here, I have the composition of raffinate 2. So back here, raffinate 2, I can just copy this set of streams down. So it's 43.1 kilograms total. It's 40.1261 kilograms of water. It's 2.2843 kilograms of acetone. It's 0. 6896 kilograms of MIBK. All right, that's that straight. That's that stream. And coming out the bottom is the extract two stream. So again, going back to our flow diagram, coming out is the extract two stream, which we have down here and which we've solved for already. So extract two, go back to our pages, here's extract two, I have the flow rate, total flow rate of extract two, and I have the acetone rate, but I also know the composition of extract two completely, so I can do the whole stream. So extract two is 231.900 kilograms total. No, nope, I copied the wrong stream down. I'm just going to erase. Going back, I'm copying this stream down, 86.7935. Kilograms total. And then the composition is that given here for extract two. So 3% of that amount, 86.7935. Uh, 3% is water. And that's 2.6038 kilograms of water. 9% is acetone, 7.8114 kilograms acetone, and the rest, uh, which was 88%, is MIBK. So 
76.3783, which we calculated previously. Let's see if we got the same number. Let's see here. Here's the 86.7935 that we got total. Um, and uh, I guess we didn't calculate that other number previously, so I can't double check. All right, so that's these two streams are completely known, and raffinate one stream is the one we still don't know anything about. But since we know everything about all these other streams on all sides of the second stage, we can all we need to do now is label up the streams, and we'll be good. So we're doing the balances on stage two. Our previous balances on the mixing point had allowed us to do those balances. And now we know the extract two st uh, stream completely. The raffinate two stream we knew from the beginning. And so now we're going to be able to do all the balances we need on raffinate one. And we'll just label up. So I think on Q7, kilograms total. And there's going to be Q8, kilograms of water, Q9, kilograms of acetone, and Q10, kilograms of MIBK. Overall balance will give us Q7. Water balance will give us Q8. Uh, acetone balance, Q9. And by subtraction, Q10, or we can do an imbalance. We're at a good stopping point here, so I think I'll stop and I'll do those calculations. And when I start on part three of this problem, um, I'll have all those numbers finished. So. Um, again, if you want to continue to the end, uh, please dial up the, uh, the next video in the series.